What up, YouTube? Mike the Coder here. Today we are going to go over Apple Division. Now I know I've said that I will go back to Coin Piles and Tower of Hanoi, but I think this problem is easier than the other two problems, and I think this problem is good for you to understand. Um, it's just easier than the other two problems, and I think it's better to go over the easy problems first because I'm too lazy and I'd rather go over the easy problem first. And then I'll come back to the other two. Okay, I'll come back to the other two. Don't worry, tomorrow we will go over um, Coin Piles and Tower of Hanoi. But for now, well, let's go over Apple Division. So, um, what is Apple Division? Given n apples with known weights, your task is to divide the apples into two groups so that the minimum difference uh, that the difference between the two weight of the two groups is minimum. So we have n is equal to n, which is the number of apples, and then we have each of uh, the n integers of the weight of each apple, so p1, p2, up to pn. So in this case, we have 5 is an input, and then we have 3, 2, 7, 4, 1. These are the weights of the apples, and our job is to minimize, uh, divide the apples into two groups so that the difference between the weights of the two groups is minimal, okay? And then we just print one integer, which is the minimum difference between the weights of the two groups. Okay, so uh, what does this mean? So let's uh, let's actually just draw in paint first. So let's say I have three. Wow, I am so bad at using this touchpad, using the mouse. The mouse is uh, really bad, really, really bad. Okay, so we have three. Three, two, okay, you know what, screw this. Okay, screw this, screw this. Screw this, okay, screw this. Uh, let's let's just use, let's just type it out. Okay, so we have three, two, and typing's not working. Okay, three, two, uh, two, three, two, seven, four, one. All right, three, two, seven, four, one. Okay, so um, let's say that we want to uh, split into two groups. So what is the task again? We need to uh, divide the apples into two groups so that the difference between the weights of the two groups is minimum. Okay, difference between the weights of the two groups. So, um, so three, two, seven, four, one are the, each individual weight of the apple, and we need to uh, divide each of these uh, apple weights into two groups, right? So let's say I, for the first group, I just pick three, two, and uh, yeah, I just pick three, two. Okay, so the first group I pick three, two. Okay, so this is the first group. This is the first group. Okay, now the second group I pick um, seven. Four one, okay, and the reason why is seven four one is the rest of the group, right? So if I pick three two, uh, seven four one will be the rest of the group, because um, I mean that's the rest of the group, right? So what is the what is the weight of the first group of three two? Well, um, three plus two is five, so let's just put the weight of the first group as five, okay? And then what is the weight of the second group? Well, the weight of the second group is uh, seven plus four plus one. So seven plus four plus one, okay? So seven plus four plus one is uh, 12. I believe it's 12, yeah, it's 12, okay? So now what they want us to do is that now we have the, we, we let's assume we split into these two groups, right? Now um, we, we need to get the difference of each group. So what is the difference between um, 12 and five? Well, 12 minus 5 is 7, so we're going to do the difference is going to be 7. All right, 12 minus 5 is 7, so this difference is 7. Okay? So this is assuming we split 3, 2 into one group, and then 7, 4, 1 into another group. Okay? Now, think about this. Okay? Um, let's say I split 3, 2 into one group, and 7, 4, 1 is the other group. Okay? Um, what... How do you calculate the weights of these groups, right? Um, it's simple. You just add them up. You sum them up. But I don't want to recalculate, like, summing up 3 plus 2, right, is equal to 5. I don't want to recalculate uh, all every single time, right? So I have 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, right? Once I have this first group, I don't want to recalculate the second group also because I would have uh, 7 plus 4 plus 1 would be 12, and I don't want to loop through from this point to the end, okay? So uh, how would you do this in this case? Um, so if you don't want to recalculate something, what you could do is just calculate the whole thing at once. And then um, since you could calculate the whole thing, whole sum at once, you don't have to recalculate the second group if you have the first group. 
right? Because the sum of both of these groups are going to be, the total sum is going to be the same no matter what, right? If you just add them all then up, right? And you split into one group. The other group will just be the total sum subtracted by the sum of the first group, right? So like if you look at this, um, three plus, let's look at the total sum. The total sum is three plus two plus seven plus four plus one. So what is that? That's uh, five plus seven, which is 12 plus four, which is 12 plus four is 16 plus one is 17, right? So our total sum, our total sum, total sum, this is our total, three plus two plus seven plus four plus one, this is equal to 17, right? So since I have this total sum of 17, right? And let's say I split this first group of three plus two equal to five, right? I could just take 17 minus five to get 12, right? I don't have to recalculate again for the second group because since I'm, since I have the total sum of 17, I just have to subtract by the first group and then I would have the uh, sum of the second group, okay? So yeah, that's, that's basically the reason why that you could do this, okay? So now using this logic, um, what we could do if we want to find the minimum difference between the groups, right? The minimum difference between the groups. Remember our task is to divide the apples into two groups so that difference between the weights of the groups is minimum. So we want the minimum difference between two groups. What we could do is that since our, our inputs are so small, I is between one to 20, we could brute force and just go through every single element and pick those groups, pick those values in the first group, then subtract total sum, this total, minus that first group to get the second group. And then we could take the difference between the first group and the second group, right? absolute value of the difference between the first group and the second group. And then that will give us our um, smaller distance, smallest distance. And then uh, we could keep a counter, a counter talking about what is this, uh, not a counter, um, a, a variable minimum difference to keep track of that smallest distance, uh, smallest difference, right? To keep track of that smallest difference, right? So if I take, if I have the first, group is equal to five and the second group is 12. Let's just do 12 minus five is equal to gives us seven, right? And I just go through every single possible group of the first group. And then I subtract total sum from the first group to get the second group. And I just subtract both of the sums of these of the second group. I'm going to get a, a minimum, uh, dis, uh, a difference, right? I'm going to get a difference. And then if I have a minimum variable that keep track of the dif the difference, every time I have a difference smaller than that variable, minimum variable, that I could update my difference and that'll give me the smallest dis difference, the smallest difference between the two groups, okay? So um, if you wanna code this up, I will show you guys the code now. So essentially is we just have to go through every single possible um, group, group of the first group, take the total minus the, the sum of the first group to give our second group. And then after that, um, we just subtract them. So if I were to do this, I'll show you guys what uh, in words what this means. So we have the total sum. So we calculate the total sum, right? So add up all the numbers. I'll write in words, add up all numbers to get total sum, right? Then after that, um, we just brute force, brute force all groups of, of first group, right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the second group. Second group is gonna equal to total sum minus first group we the total sum minus the first group. And then after that, uh, our, our difference, we just have to calculate difference. So then our difference, calculate the difference between the two groups, calculate difference between two groups. And what is that? That's going to be first group minus second group, right? So essentially that is this whole algorithm in English. So I'll just show you guys this is this would be the whole algorithm in English, and uh, let me just wipe this away first. Oh my gosh! No, no, I lost it. Wait, oh no, I got, I got it. Okay, I lost it again. But yeah, add up all the numbers to get total sum. Brute force all groups of first group. Second group is equal to total sum minus first group. 
calculate the difference between the two groups of first minus second, and then we maintain a variable for the smallest difference, okay? So that's the, essentially the gist of the algorithm in English. And then, um, yeah, I'll just show you guys the code now. So the code looks like this, okay? So first, um, here I read in the uh, N, which is the size of the piles, uh, the, uh, the weights of each of the total piles, right? The total variable of, of the piles of the apples, right? Total number of apples, right? And then I created this P, this vector long, long of P of N. And this is just going to have a store every single weight of each of the apples, right? Then I have a total sum, and then I'm going to read in every single apple, right? Every single weight of each apple. And then I do total sum plus equal to each of the individual weights, okay? Okay, um, LL means long, long, okay? LL means long, long. I defined it up here. LL means long, long. Define LL as long, long, okay? Because I don't want, I want to avoid overflow, okay? Now we are going to brute force, okay? We're gonna brute force. So this is how you brute force. Um, you go from I equals zero up to two to the N, okay? And then um, here is gonna, the second loop is gonna go from J equals zero to N. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna shift one, uh, one to the left by J and and it by I, okay? And what this is doing is that I went, I had a video of going over this, of uh, brute forcing every possible combination of, uh, of uh, yeah, brute forcing every possible combination of picking up in an array. And I think uh, you could, uh, using bit sets, you, you could check that video out if you don't understand. But this is essentially what I'm doing. And then uh, if this is true, this means that is uh, that's the value that I'm picking. That's the value I'm picking in the array, right? That's the value I'm gonna pick in the first group. So s s equals zero is as the variable representing the sum of the first group. Okay. So s plus equal p of j. Uh, uh, p of j is going to mean um, summing up all the values in the first group that I'm picking. Okay. So this for loop, first for loop is just brute forcing every single possible way of the first group, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is um, here, I do the absolute difference of uh, total minus S. Total minus S, remember, is, is going to be the value of the second group, right? The second group. So total, if S is our first group, right? If S is the sum of our first group, total minus S is gonna be the sum of the second group. And then because I want the difference between the second minus the first group, right? I will do this total minus S minus S again, because S is the first group. And then this total minus S is the sum of the second group. So the second group minus the first group is gonna be our difference, okay? I take the absolute value because they want us to do that. Um, yeah, they want us to take the absolute value of the difference between the first group and the second group. And that's what this, I do here. I call this variable current. I call this variable current, okay? Then what I'm doing is I have this answer variable of equal to infinity, which is long, long max, right? Long, long answer is gonna equal to long, long max is basically infinity. And I just reset this variable. Uh, answer is gonna equal to the minimum of answer and uh, current, which is our, our, our difference, our current difference. Okay, so by resetting this variable of answer equal to minimum of answer and the, our current difference, that's going to reset the, what that's going to do is that's gonna get the minimum difference for the group, okay? The minimum difference between the two groups, okay? And then in the end, after, since this goes, this basically brute forces all possible groups of the first group and um, gets the sum of the second group and takes a difference for each of them and the answer it gets the minimum difference. In the end, we later just print out our answer, okay? So yeah, that's basically the gist of this code. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, my throat hurts. I'll show you guys later, peace.